What's up, PSG Nation? It's your boy PSG Inter, and today we will be previewing Paris Saint Germain versus AS Ajaxio. In this video, we will be going through the predicted lineups for both teams. The last time these teams have played each other, injuries, league table positions, former games, and as always, a prediction at the end. So stay tuned. This game will be played at the Stade Francois Côté, a round of 12 in Ligue 1 Ubrid, so Paris Saint-Germain's 12th game in Ligue 1 this season, this Friday, the 21st of October, 21 p.m. That's French time, that's Central European time for everyone asking, but lost games, two games for these teams. Paris Saint-Germain, as we all know, were victorious, 1-0 versus Marseille after they switch up to the 4-3-3 or the 4-3-1-2 formation winning convincingly over Marseille and probably should have scored even more goals than the one they scored whilst Ajaxio went uh, to Troy and got a 1-1 draw which uh, I mean it, it helps them it helps them when you're a team at the at the bottom of the of the table these kinds of draws and so on they help you especially with Troy sitting much higher up in the league table for them so they also had a great last game but for managers coming into this game Christophe Galtier will be without some players as he has been but I think he will be wanting to continue with the formation he has been using and which has helped him so far in the, the, the Marseille game he will tweak maybe some stuff with it maybe we'll see something new maybe something interesting but he will look at this game try to win it convincingly you know going away to Ajaxio Paris Saint-Germain's form actually has been much better this season away rather than at home it's not that we have lost at home it's just the goals they do not come as they come away and uh, whilst on the other hand Olivier Pantaloni the Ajaxio manager I mean he got that win against Marseille ending then their unbeaten run in Liga and this season so I don't really think he's fearless of Paris Saint-Germain and he will try to find weaknesses in this Paris Saint-Germain squad as he did for that Marseille game but the, the main difference here is that Paris Saint-Germain have switched up totally completely from what they have been doing so far this season they have switched from the three at the back to a four at the back with three midfielders which it would be very hard for Olivier to find any gaps find any weaknesses because he doesn't have that much to watch there's only one game where you can see Paris Saint-Germain in this new formation so he will have a very tough job but I definitely believe that he will install that mentality in the players that they should not be fearless even though they're coming up against one of the best teams in Europe taking a look at missing players from Paris Saint-Germain we have Sergio Ramos second game suspended and last game of his suspension after his red card against Adrem Pembele still out with his injury probably back around late November right ahead of the World Cup whilst Presnel Kimpembe is back in collective training but will probably not be available for this game already confirmed he will be available for the Maccabi Haifa game Nuno Mendes still out with his injury and Danilo Pereira who tore his hand hamstring uh, on the weekend against Marseille is out for uh, yeah the rest of this half season until the World Cup and we'll be back for Paris Saint-Germain after the World Cup this will be the predicted lineup for Paris Saint-Germain so continuing with the 4-3-3 or if you look at it a bit closely it's more of a 4-3-1-2 we have Gianluigi, Donnarumma in goal, Ashraf Hakimi and Juan Bernat as the fullbacks, Marquinhos as the centre-back and then Mukiele there is still the option of Bichabu because he's he's a centre-back I mean Mukiele has played as a right wing-back and a right centre-back in a three met three man at the back for his entire career has never played in a two-man defense but I, I think that Galte there is a possibility that he maybe plays Bichiabo in this game plays Marquinhos on the right and Bichiabo on the left and tries him out because you're playing against a team that is not good and this is a perfect opportunity to play Bichiabu so you may see Bichiabu parting up Marquinhos at the back but I would say most probably it's Mukiele and Marquinhos in the three-man midfield we continue with Fabian, Marco, Verratti, Vitinha, Vitinha on the left, Verratti in the middle centrally and Fabian on the right whilst uh, the predicted lineup says Messi, Ekitike and Bappe forward line so it will be Ekitike's second start of the season after his underwhelming performance against Nice at the Parc des Princes whilst Lionel Messi uh, 
will be the 10 that dictates the game offensively at least and connects the attack with the midfield he will have a great relationship with Marco Verratti this game and Mbappe will have that left space for him by himself as Ekitike will try to go on the right and be more central the only thing here is that Neymar played an incredible performance and he runs so much and Messi to come in and play that same role I don't really I don't I don't know how it would go it may work out well it may not work out well so there's a possibility we can see a Messi and Mbappe up top as we saw against Marseille and maybe Carlos Soler because I think I, I don't think Sarabia but there's a possibility for both in that cam role but I really think that Galti will go with, with this, give Ikitiki his second start of the season and play Lionel Messi in that number 10 position with Neymar being out of this game due to suspension. The ones to watch for this game is, of course, Ikitiki is going to get his first start. Of course, uh, Messi in this uh, lone cam role will be something to want to see and maybe even minutes to be Thiago. But I will, yet yeah, again, give it to the three-man midfield of Verratti, Fabian, Vitinha. We saw how incredibly good they are together against Marseille. And here's another game where they can showcase their qualities to the Parisian uh, fan base. And yeah, as I said, we expect a lot from... Verratti Vitinha, we have not really seen enough of Fabian yet, but this is what we are eager to watch in this game. So these are the ones to watch for me. Taking a look at uh, our opponent AC Ajaxio, they are sitting 18th in the Ligue 1 Uber Eats table, meaning that if they continue like this, they will be relegated because four teams will be relegated from Ligue 1 this season because Ligue 1 is turning into an 18 league team next season. So Ajaxio are predictedly going to get relegated and their form is a bit shaky. Three losses, two wins and one draw in their last six games and they will be missing Hamuma. We Paris Saint-Germain fans know him well from his time at saint Etienne. Tuzgar and Lachi will all be missing this game. But taking a look at Ajax's predicted lineup, Leroy Engel, uh, Yusuf, Gonzalez, Avinel and Diallo in the defense, Belali, Kotider, and Marchetti and Bayala in the midfield, and Musito Oko and Drissi up top. They have played a 4-4-2 formation this entire season and that's why I believe they played in Ligue 2 as well before they got promoted this season. And yeah, I, I checked up. They have played 4-4-2 against pretty much every opponent, including Marseille, which they beat. So I think they would just stick to what they're good at and hope for the best for this game. Players I know from this team, I know Blaley. He's an Algerian. He's from the national team. Very, very skillful player. I don't know if he has that work rate. Maybe that's why it hasn't really worked out for him in Liga and Uber Eats. Uh, since his move uh, to Brest and now going to Ajaxio, but he has tricks up his, up his sleeves, so Hakimi needs to be prepared for that. But other than that, I think we we'll just straight go on to the ones to watch, which is El Edisi, who was very vital for Ajaxio's promotion to Liga in this season and has been good at least for their standards two goals to top scorer of its team so he will be my ones to watch for this game he's, uh, he's moroccan as well so it would be nice to see if paris Saint Germain can defend well against him the last game between the two clubs will take us back until 2014 when paris Saint Germain came up against ajaxio in the coupe de la ligue paris Saint Germain winning that game 3-1 with ease goes from edinson cavani Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Lucas Mora, but what a what a beautiful memory! Look at that! Look at the players: Angel Di Maria, Marquinhos, Stamboli, Thiago Silva, Thiago Mota, Kevin Trapp, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, David Luiz, uh, Lavi Kurzawa, Lucas Mora, and Edinson Cavani. What a picture! What a memory! But if we go back to the real time, Paris Saint Germain, I'm predicting them to win three 0 against Ajaxio. With Neymar missing this game, I don't see Akitiki. Maybe, I mean, there's a chance he can bag his debut goal, but I see a brace from Kylian Mbappe and a goal from Lionel Messi. Paris Saint-Germain should be able to keep a clean sheet in this game. Ajax, you have not scored many goals this season. I think only eight so far this season, and we should be scoring goals for fun against them. So I'm predicting 3-0 to Paris Saint-Germain. Brace from Kylian Mbappe, Golasso from Lionel Messi. So make sure to comment down below what's your prediction for this game. And make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the PSG and YouTube channel. And as always, allez, allez, allez Paris.